Roy and Ryan Schneider, who you did a podcast with on your favorite Roy Head's YouTube show, is now threatening to kick your ass. These are all common problems that we can all relate to. So I hope that these guided meditations will help you wake up along the way. I'm sorry that was so accurate. <laughs> going to be a theme of the evening, but uh, first, uh, guys, you're going to uh, scoot down a little bit, and we are going to bring out, of course, Matt and David will be up here the whole time, Woo! providing insight, analysis, Woo! and beer. Joining us now is one of the best journalists in the game. She's a friend of mine. She's brilliant. She's TMBS crew. You've seen her on Huffington Post. You've seen her on Salon.com, you see her regularly on MSNBC, and you know that she has incredible taste in music, which we're going to bring her up to. Um, it was a very strong temptation to do Russian anthem, national anthem, but I didn't. I went with something else. Alona Minkowski is here! Woo! Trump was good for the news. 
Right. That's a good. That is a good observation. So what? Shane Smith bought a really big house in the past. Yeah. So all is wrong. Yeah. 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 Ye
prerogative is for you guys. See how you get compromised by personal friendships and stuff? So, Second uh, <laughs> Rule is a great book. But uh, he, I remember he was doing a thing like back in 2007 or something. And it was like, it was for a foreign policy magazine or something. It was called like Flip Phone World. And it was like, and, and it was such a thing that at that time, for the first thing, you're like, man, this is so cool. Like, this guy's in Mozambique. He's meeting with an eco activist. He's meeting with you know this and that person all over the world. And it's kind of informal. He's just doing it on, I mean, literally, a flip phone. This is before iPhones. And then it was like two and a half episodes in, you're just like, this looks fucking terrible. <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> and this is all concept and no execution. And so it's like, it feels like you. Only execution we've actually had in the modern media environment is turning this over to these predator platforms that just eat the business model. And then the real people lose their jobs. And we don't have the capacity to do news. People freak out about fake news, but they're not willing to actually get back to thinking. They just want their own narrative. Well, I, I, it's, you know, it's an interesting combination of everything because you have um, places like Facebook, first of all, dictating 